associate category or, or among the fastest growing category, if not the fastest growing category of membership in the AIA. And it's because they're really interested in our organization, what we can do, and they've got great programs. I mean, the, the, um, the programs of, um, you know, learning by design programs, uh, kind of helping in communities, those, of those individuals who have difficulty kind of moving around their homes or getting assistance by uh, associates and, and uh, I mean, there's, there's an awful lot of uh, opportunity for associates in the organization. As I was going through the university, um, I was always hearing about AIA. And I was also always curious to know, well, what does the AIA really do for you? Once you're a student, once you get out of school, um, what's your, do they help you in your career path? So because of that, I said, well, let me go and join and see, actually. I went to a first meeting. And then just hearing everybody telling me and stating the things that the AIA does for you, I started getting curious and started joining them. And as time went through, I realized how important it is to join and all the great advantages that we get. The needs that I have for the AIA have changed over time. When I first became a member as a recent graduate, I was really looking for um, mentors, I was looking for support to go through the IDP process and to become licensed. And I found um, participating in my local chapter and meeting other architects to be extremely beneficial to meeting those goals. Um, as I advanced in my career, uh, I found that the knowledge resources that the AIA provides, the leadership training by becoming involved in different um, committees has been um, irreplaceable. I mean, people say that, you know, maybe you can get those experiences at your firm or working on your projects, but I find that uh, supplementing the work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis with involvement um, and the AIA is, is just incredibly beneficial. As a graduate from uh, Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, architecture is something that is my career path. So I want to get licensed and work towards getting licensed. And the AIA is a great resource for helping emerging professionals get licensed and networking and professional contacts, community, um, all those aspects that that you need on, on that road to get your architectural license in California. You know that they're going to be your right resources. They're great programs that the associates have made, for example, just to help you through the IDP, also to help you through ARE. There is a lot of uh, components that have classes. I know a couple of them that have once a week classes to help you get through your ARE. If you work for a larger firm, you, you have sometimes exposure to other people, other architects, young architects. But it, when, you know, majority of firms out there are small, uh, you don't always have the exposure. I mean, if you're working for a 10-man firm, 10-person firm, um, and you're a, a new young person there, you know, eight out of the 10 might be uh, sort of older. And you don't necessarily have someone in your own, uh, uh, own age range or, or uh, kind of professional range that, that you could always talk to. And whereas, you know, I think as being an associate member might expose you to uh, a bigger community and a bigger community of your own um, uh, kind of level of, of, of people. And for a young architect to join the AIA right now, I think it's also about the opportunities of meeting um, more experienced professionals. So you never know when somebody's going to be your next job, your next boss. Um, you never know what you might learn um, from somebody else. Um, the opportunities are just sort of um, endless in a lot of ways and um, you'll never meet a better bunch of people. Being a new professional I've been able to get resources in the easy way. Um, the AIA has offered the ARE prep courses, lunch and learns, professional development, lecture series, so it's definitely paid off within a short amount of time. Young architects that graduate that work for firms that are not registered yet um, join the AIA at a discounted rate and they're exposed to professional practice. They're exposed to how firms do business. They're exposed to the excitement uh, that's going around them. Um, that is what fuels our organization, all the young architects coming in, the, the associates. I think our associates are probably the most valuable resource that the AIA has. They are the future of the profession, and, and I strongly urge people to participate at that level in their career with the AIA 
because not only is it helpful to them in terms of developing their career, but it's also helpful to us. Um, I have learned so much from the young people that I've met in, in the last few years of my leadership service within AIA. Um, they think differently than I do. They have different um, perspectives on things, and that's where our profession's going. We need to learn from them, and so come play with us. I have a problem. I'm addicted to AIA. <laughs> mm -hmm.